Peace. It's something that we all want. It's something that we all strive for, we look for, we want to experience. We connect peace with happiness. We, we want peace in our lives. We want peace in our minds. We want peace in our families. We want peace in our neighborhood, our cities, our country. We want peace in our world. What does that really look like? How do we find and pursue peace? Let's jump right into it. Grab your Bibles. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse number three is going to be our prayer scripture for this week as we look at God's answer to how to find peace. As always, grab our Home Church 217 app if you need a Bible app. Grab your favorite Bible app if you don't want to use our app or just write it down, write it on a sticky note, put it in your notes, text yourself so that you remember to look this up. But I want you to read this. I'm going to put it on the screen to help you. Isaiah chapter 26, verse number three. You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. You keep him in perfect peace, those whose mind is on you because they trust in you. Almost like a three-step process. If you want peace, peace comes from keeping your mind on Jesus Christ, putting him into every conversation, into every thought, making sure that he is leading and guiding and walking alongside this journey with you to experience peace you must experience Him. You must be seeking after Him. You must have your mind set on Him. And the reason that He has peace when your mind is set on Him is because you learn to trust Him. That when my mind is set on Jesus, I learn to trust His voice. I learn to trust His presence. I learn to trust the decisions that I feel, the decisions that I make, the, the things that He's allowing me to experience because I know my mind is set on Him. And walking this out, every single day right alongside of him. And because I'm walking alongside of him, because he's right next to me, I can now trust my own thoughts. And when I trust my own thoughts, I can trust him. And when I trust him, there's a peace. There's a comfort that comes alongside of him. There's a reason that what breaks my peace the quickest is being asked by my wife, what do you want to eat tonight? Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't want to answer that because there is this worry that I'm going to say the wrong thing. It brings unpeace to my life. That's not even a real word, but I like to say it anyway. What brings peace is trust. Knowing that my wife is an amazing cook and I want her happy and wherever she wants to eat, I will eat. So pick where you would like to eat. When we know that our father is walking alongside of us when we know he's right there with us step by step, my mind is set on him. There's this trust that he's with me, that if I make a misstep, he's going to guide me back, that if I fall, he's going to pick me up, that when I need strength, he's going to give me strength. When I need the words, he's going to give me the words. When I need wisdom, he'll give me wisdom. There's this peace and trusting. My mind is set on him. I'm walking this out and now I have peace in my life. The greatest way to experience peace is to have your mind set on Him. Because when your mind is set on Him, you trust Him. And trust brings with it peace. And if we want trust in our relationships with God, then we must trust Him. If we want trust in our relationships with our family, there must be trust. If we want trust with our relationships in our professional life, with our friends, with our neighbors, in our city, if we want peace, there must be trust. And the way trust is built is by making sure that you're right there, that you're walking this out with those individuals. Bring peace into your life. If you need peace in your life right now, say the scripture. Every time you feel the enemy trying to snatch peace away from you, life, circumstance, culture, the news, anything that tries to snatch your peace away from you, remind yourself of the scripture. Say the scripture out loud. Set your mind on him and let that trust sweep in and bring with it peace. I pray that's a blessing. Pray this with us. Join us for our series called Next. Download our app, Home Church 217 anywhere that you download apps or visit our website homechurch217.com and help us build our following both on twitter instagram and youtube home church 217 come give us a like a follow a subscribe help us out we want to make sure that our content is a blessing to you and you can be a blessing to us by helping us with that until next time as always god bless <music>